My name is Marcia Spencer. I'm 56 year old, grandmother of five, and originally from Wixom, Michigan. But I've been living in the city now for 15 years. I've been participating here for 26 days in a row in the rain and the shine, all the good and bad weather, uh, knitting hats, scarves, and mittens for the participants who do spend the night here, just trying to help keep people warm. I can make a hat in about two, two and a half hours. A pair of mittens might take me three hours. So I can usually make two to three items every day. It, it really helps keep my fingers kind of nimble because I'm, the arthritis is setting in as I get older and sometimes my hands don't work as well. But if I keep them moving all the time like that, it's, it's really good for me actually. This whole thing has been good for me. Being out of work has been kind of depressing. This has done as much good for me as I hope I have done for them. So it's a win-win all around. I've just always felt a, a creative urge and, and the best way I've been able to express that is through my crafting. But I've also been able to make a pretty good living through the course of my life as a seamstress. I worked in a number of different bridal shops. For a while I was in the wardrobe union here in, in New York City where I worked on uh, soap operas, television shows, movies, and I worked at Les Mis for six years. Les Mis where they have the revolution of the students every night on stage for three hours. That's, I don't think that's where I got my drive for this, but it's definitely an inspiration. Uh, I became unemployed because I went back to Michigan for a while. And when I got back to the city, I haven't had enough money yet to get back into the union. But I've been looking for other types of work, receptionist, you know, answer phones, do whatever. I've been looking for anything I could find that I might be qualified for. And it's just been really hard to find anything. So I now have my occupation for now. I think in their hearts, everyone in America is a protester in their own right. Everyone wants to be heard. And this is an opportunity for everyone to be heard. I think people that may not have been able to speak out before might see this as an opportunity to do that because everybody is in this park and everybody has something they want to say. I think that's what's waking people up. We're talking about things that we didn't talk about before and we're talking about them in public. That, and you know, people could do it on the internet all they want, but I think it's so much more dynamic and and more effective to do it in a, in a venue like this.